Alexa, play Space Force. Getting Space Force from Netflix. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another smart home tutorial. We're going to be doing a few things in this video. First, we're going to go through the setup process of setting up your Amazon Fire Stick. This is the 2018 4K model. They have not released the 4K models for 2020, but the instructions should be the same and it will definitely be the same for the 1080p version. This is just the 4K version. Now inside of that, we're also going to be going through showing you how to set up and link your Echo devices to also control your Fire Stick. There's a few other steps that you have to do, so we're gonna be covering all of that in today's video, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Located in the box, you're gonna get a charger with a cable, an HDMI extender, the Fire Stick itself, two AA batteries, the remote, and some documentation. Now a few things just before we get started, you're gonna to want to set your TV to the HDMI that you have plugged in the Fire Stick to, and if you do have a sound bar like I do here, you're also gonna to wanna to turn that on because part of the pairing process or setting up process, you're gonna be allowed to uh, use the Fire Stick remote in order to turn up the volume and stuff for the sound bar. So we've got that all taken care of. We've got our TV on the input. So now you can see right here, it's going through, it's cycling through a different uh, couple languages, but essentially you're gonna to want to turn on the Fire Stick remote and wait for the prompt to uh, say so it says Fire TV, press the play pause button to start and you're going to find that, might be a little bit hard to see, you're going to find that like right down here, the bottom set of buttons right in the middle, you're going to press that and now it's going to ask us to choose the language. So you're going to be using the main uh, pads right here, which again is really hard to see, but you're going to be setting using that to move the arrows or the selections around and then you're going to press the middle of it in order to select. So as you can see right there, so you can see we want English, United States, configuring your Fire TV. It's going to be scanning for the networks. This is only Wi-Fi. It does support 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz bands. This is the 4K model, so I'm going to be connecting it to the 5 gigahertz. So we're going to select the correct network. It's going to be drop it like it's hotspot. And it's, of course, going to ask for your Wi-Fi credentials. So you're going to want to make sure that you have your, nef your network name and your Wi-Fi credentials on hand. And so I will go ahead and punch this in real quick. Once you've connected successfully, it's going to say connecting successful. Then it's going to download the latest software. You've got Fire TV on the screen here. It looks like it's loading something in the bottom right hand corner. Once the updates have finished, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Amazon account. You can say I already have an account or if you're new to Amazon, of course, you'll want to head on over to this one right here where it says I am new to Amazon to create an Amazon account. For me, I'm going to click I already have an Amazon account and then I'm going to visit that URL. So I've signed into the account on my phone here, and if you look on the phone, I'll see if I can refocus it. Now it's asking for the code right there that you can see in the background on the TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch that code into the phone. Phone says your registration is now complete, and you can see on the Fire Stick that it says successfully registered. Your Amazon Fire Stick uh, 4K is registered to Aaron Mark. Do you want to use this account? Of course, you'll want to click on continue or change my account depending on your preference. For me, I'm gonna click on continue. And then again, I am not going to save my Wi-Fi password to Amazon. So I'm gonna head on over to no and tap on no. You can set up parental controls, which is really cool. If you go into your Amazon account, you can actually bring in the parental controls or if you have kid profiles, you can set that stuff up as well. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on no parental controls. Again, you're gonna to want to choose your preference. Preparing your remote for setup. This is where we're gonna go through and set up the remote. We'll be playing music during the next step. Please make sure the volume is turned up, then continue. So I'm gonna tap on next. You can hear the music. With your Fire TV remote pointed at your TV, toggle the volume up and volume down button. So I'm gonna go down. So you can see on the TV that it does say audio out optical. That's, con that's because I'm controlling the sound with the sound bar. It did not change the soundbar volume, so I'm going to tap on no. If yours worked, you're gonna to want to tap on yes. Are you using a soundbar or receiver? You're gonna to want to choose your device. I'm gonna choose I use a soundbar. And you're gonna to want to choose the model of soundbar that you use. And it's gonna go back to playing some music. And again, you're gonna to try to use the volume up and volume down to see if it works this time. 
In this case, if you look in the bottom left corner where the sound bar is, I can now change the volume of the sound bar with the Alexa remote. So I'm going to choose yes this time. Your Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. We're gonna tap okay. And it's gonna take us to the Fire Stick user interface. Prime monthly, we're gonna click no thanks. Choose your streaming services. Everything is free to add. Some will require payment for full access. So things like Hulu, Netflix, they still do require your subscriptions, but you can download them for free and sign into them. So for now, I'm just gonna click on no thanks. TV for kids, you can see that it's pulled over uh, my son's profile on here and we can add him if we wanted to, but for now I'm just gonna click on not now. And this is what the home screen looks like of the uh, Fire Stick. So you can see at the top you've got home, live, your videos, free movies, TV shows, apps, and settings. So you've got your notifications there, you've got your network, display and sounds, applications. This is where you can go to uh, manage your applications, equipment control, controllers and Bluetooth devices. What I found really cool is if you have like a PlayStation or an Xbox, there's potential that you can actually add those controllers in here to control the uh, Fire Stick instead of using the actual remote. Of course, you've got Alexa right here, preferences, My Fire TV, accessibility, all of the settings are within here that you can go around and change everything. But if we go back, and now that we have everything set up, you can see that Netflix that has a little cloud icon in the top right hand corner, that means you need to download it in order to use that. So if we click on it right now, you can see download, it says you own it, of course, we'll click it, it'll queue it up, it'll start to download it. So if we go into Netflix, I'm gonna sign into my Netflix account so we can demo it here in just a moment. So let me sign into that. And now that is all set up. So in order to use the Fire Stick with the actual voice commands, you can go back to the home and you can use the Fire Stick by pressing the microphone button at the very top of the remote, which is right up here. Let's see if I can focus in on it which is right up there, you press and hold it, and you'll see the, the bar at the very top asking for a command. Alexa, play Space Force. Getting Space Force from Netflix. Alexa, pause. Alexa, play. Flag games felt great. Yeah, we're the adversary. And you can do things like skip episodes. Alexa, next episode. And if you're done watching a show or anything like that, you can also use the voice commands to go back to the home screen. Alexa, go home. So as you can see, there's a lot more control uh, with the Fire Stick, obviously, because it is an Amazon product than you normally get with some of the, even the more integrated TVs. I did a video previously that uh, was controlling the Samsung Smart TV and it was a very limited function just because my model TV was a 2018 and there wasn't a whole lot of integration already. So this is a great solution for some older TVs that don't have the full integration or uh, some of the, maybe the different brands like uh, Element or things like that that don't have a fully integrated system. You can use a Fire Stick in order to have full control over the TV. So the next question is, what if you're like me and you have other Echo devices and you want to be using one of those to control the TV instead of picking up the remote? You can do that, but there's just some additional steps that need to take place. So first, what you're gonna need to do is go on into the Alexa app here. Once you've got the Alexa app open, you're gonna wanna click on more in the bottom right corner. And then you're gonna want to tap on settings and head on down to where you see TV and video. So we'll tap on that. And you're gonna wanna click the plus sign right next to Fire TV, so we'll tap that. And then tap on where it says link your Alexa devices. Once you've done that, your Fire Stick is going to load. You can see that I've got two of them here. I have a 1080p and a 4K. We are going to be choosing the 4K because that's the one that we've got here on the TV. So I'm gonna select Fire TV 4K and then I'm going to tap on continue. Now you can only have an Echo device control one of the Fire Stick. So in my scenario, since I have two of them, the Echo Show that I have next to me, I can only use that to control one Fire Stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the Aaron's Echo Show down here at the bottom because that's the one that's right next to me and that's the one that I want to control the TV. Of course, you're gonna select the one that is in the room that's uh, closest to you or in the room itself. So here, we're just gonna choose Aaron's Echo Show and we're gonna tap on Link Devices. 
Once you've got this screen where it says your link devices, you're good to go. You can close the Alexa app and you can give it a test. So if we refocus on the TV, Alexa, play Space Force. Getting Space Force from Netflix. So you can see now I can use the Echo device next to me in order to control the TV. So again, Alexa, pause. Flex. Alexa, rewind five seconds. Oh yeah. I hate to flex, but we dropped them. Alexa, next episode. Flex. Alexa, go home. The Fire Stick can also do other things just like some of your other Echo devices where if you have reminders or timers or uh, notifications, things like that, you can actually bring them up on your TV. If you have compatible cameras that are connected to your smart home system that are compatible, you can also bring those up on your TV. So if we did a demo of just reminders, Alexa, what are my reminders? There are no reminders scheduled. And you can also use the Fire Stick to control your other smart device as well. So like lights, things like that. Alexa, turn on living room lamp. Might've been hard to see, but in the reflection of the TV, I've got the lamp over there. Turn off living room lamp. You can see it turned the lamp off. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with the Fire Stick on top of controlling your TVs, managing all of your smart home stuff, using it to see notifications, shopping lists, cameras, etc. There's tons and tons that you can do with the Amazon Fire Stick as if you were to have other Echo devices as well. And that is all there is to it. As you can see, it's a very, very simple setup. And that is going to wrap it up for this week's tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We have things like t-shirts and mugs and stickers and get yourself some sweet Help Cloud swag. Anyways, guys, thanks for all that you do. Thanks for the support. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.